House of Magenta, the six minute film from Italy. So this is a really interesting piece. This white fabric, it opens the piece and she's pulling it like Rapunzel, like this, like from a castle kind of style. And then it's tying her hands and it's binding her and she's wrapped up in it. My favorite piece, I loved it. But maybe like open, and like, and like abstract art, because these are all abstractions, it doesn't mean anything. It's just the beauty of the imagery that is important. And this one particularly had amazing imagery, like that was just so um, provocative. You know, like the opening shot, the thing in the dome. Maybe the medium is the message, right? And we have to not acknowledge it has absolutely gorgeous cinematography. The way they're capturing shadow and light and the way they're capturing texture and color are really interesting. Silk against stone and white against gray shadow. I agree that the cinematography in this was um, exquisite. And uh, the cloth is interesting because it becomes part of the dance. In fact, the dance is in the cloth rather than in the body. The body is kind of the landscape for the dance itself. So um, I, in terms of taking dance to an abstract level, um, the body of the dancer can be outside the dancer. And the um, environment for the dancer can be the body. So I think it was a, a lovely turnabout and use of imagery and movement because it's the cloth that moves, not the dancer. Because in reality, most of the dynamic movement is coming from a prop. And most of the static movement, really, the prop, is the person. Um, it dances fluidity, then we see it so much more in the movement, the movement of that fabric.